day and uh, welcome to our channel and the first video of ours and hopefully will be an amazingly long sequence of videos on our adventures through Africa. Along the way we're going to be cooking incredible meals mostly thanks to Oles uh, here um, and where we've come to for our adventure is a stunning farm uh, called Pat Keels Fontein in the northern Cape of South Africa. It's a vast farm with this amazing canyon within it where there's literally nothing. It's us, our car, and that is it. There's no electricity, there's no signal of the kilometers and kilometers around, no ablutions, blocks or anything like that. We're completely independent and it is amazing at a time like this. Yeah. It's just so refreshing. We've got no news. There's probably some crazy news going on somewhere in the world related to we all know what, um, but it's just such a welcome change of pace and yeah, it's refreshing. It's been amazing to just completely disconnect. You get out into the wild, there's no one for miles around. There is this incredibly cool cave that offers some ample shade in the middle of the day. We managed to set up some of our drinks at the back, so-called the rock bar which has been very cool. Um, we've got our chairs set up, we've just been doing some reading and relaxing, and it's just wonderful reconnecting with nature. The main focus of this weekend, other than practicing our video skills and hopefully uploading our first video, is cooking. And some of the meals we've been thinking about include the lamb, which we did yesterday. Do you want to tell, them, tell everyone about that? Yeah, so for a really long time I've wanted to get into some wild cooking and um, one of the things that I've been longing to do for quite a while and um, just haven't really ever got around to is a slow roast piece of meat suspended over the fire for five to six hours. Something that I've done at home in the oven many many times but we normally when we have a barbecue it's you know a quick seared piece of steak here or there so we jimmied up a metal pole and some soaked string dotted it with some garlic cloves rosemary tons of salt and pepper olive oil built ourselves a nice little rosemary stick so we had a bush of rosemary that we kind of just swabbed every now and again which was incredible with oil um, and we hung it there above some glowing embers and just cooked it for six hours 